Hey, hey, all, and welcome to the board meeting. This is Shane. Today, I want to talk to you about one of my all-time favorite games, and that's Unmatched. Unmatched is a miniatures fighting game for two to four players and published by Restoration Games. Each player will pick one of what will eventually become dozens of different characters, and then they will duke it out via card play. Some characters even have sidekicks to bring along within the fight. So far to the state, there are 19 different characters available that come from seven different sets. The characters in these sets come from a wide array of things, like mytho from mythology like Medusa, to TV series and movies like Buffy the Vampire Slayer or Raptors from Jurassic Park, literary characters like Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Jekyll, or even real-life people like Bruce Lee. Uh, yesterday, they actually just announced four new sets, and they're all going to be Marvel superhero themes. But today, I'm just going to be taking a look at the, uh, one of the smaller sets, and that's the Bigfoot versus Robin Hood set. So let's get into it. To begin, players will select any character in the unmatched set. All unmatched sets are compatible with each other, so any unmatched character can fight any character from any unmatched set. We will be using Bigfoot and Robin in this example. After selecting a character to play as, collect its miniature, its personalized deck, its reference card, any ally tokens, and any health dials that are associated with it. Set the health dials at their maximum health. Bigfoot will start with 16 health, and its jackalope ally will start with 6. Robin Hood will start with 13 health, and its outlaws do not have a printed value for health, and they don't have any health dials, so their health is automatically just 1. After selecting a character to play as, now we must select a board to play on. Each set of Unmatched comes with a board. This is a large four-player board. You can play a two versus two game on. These four-player boards come with the big sets that have four characters in them. Each of these boards is double-sided for the most part, but today we will not be playing on the big board. We will be playing on the small board that come in the smaller sets of two characters. There are two things that you need to know about unmatched boards. One is adjacency. A spot is considered adjacent if it has a line between the spots. The next thing is zones. Zones are considered any spots that have the same color. So these two spots would be in the same zone because they have gray. This spot and this spot would be in the same zone because it shares that shade of green. Now we must select the first player, and whoever is the first player will put their miniature on the spot with the one on it. Next, they will take any sidekick tokens they have and put it in any space that shares a zone with its miniature. The next player will then put his miniature on the spot that has the two on it, and then put any of his sidekicks in any zone of Robin Hood's. After that, players will shuffle their decks and deal five cards to themselves. And that is how you set up. Now let's get into the actual gameplay. On a player's turn, they must perform two actions, no matter what. You can never skip an action even if you wish to. You may perform the same action twice or two different actions. There are only three possible different actions you can take, maneuver, scheme, or attack. You have a hand limit size of seven. If ever you have more than seven cards at the end of your turn, you must discard back down to seven. After you take your two actions, it is then your opponent's turn. Before we get into the specifics of these actions, I want to go over the anatomy of some of these cards. You'll see on the top left will be some sort of symbol. There are four symbols you need to know. There's an attack symbol, defense, versatile, or scheme. Underneath that will be the value of that card, if any, and below that will be which character can use these cards. Bigfoot could use this card. If a card says any, any of your characters may play that. Underneath that will be a name of the card, and under that will be an effect that that card has. To the right here will be a boost value. Boost values will come into play with certain cards that you play, or with your maneuvering. Let's get into the details of these three actions. First off is maneuvering. When you maneuver, 
you must draw a card from your draw pile. Then you have the option of moving any number of your characters up to the amount that is specified on your player card. Bigfoot and the Jackalope have a move of 3, whereas Robin and his Outlaws have a move of 2. You can always move through your allies, but never land on top of them finishing your movement there. You can never move through an opponent's space unless a card specifies that you're allowed to do so. If you ever run out of cards in your deck, do not reshuffle the discard pile. If a maneuver action or a card you play makes you draw a card and your deck is empty, all of your fighters must immediately take two damage. As far as the scheming actions, this one is very simple. As an action, play a card face up onto the table. All you have to do is resolve whatever the scheme card says to do now. Scheme cards cannot be blocked by opponents and you cannot play a scheme card if the listed fighter is already defeated. If the Jackalope was already defeated and off the board, I could no longer play this card. The last action we'll talk about is attacking. When you attack, you must declare which of your fighters is attacking and who they are attacking. Any fighter may target a fighter in an adjacent space, regardless of what zone they are in. Fighters with melee attacks may only target fighters in an adjacent space, whereas fighters with ranged attacks may target an adjacent fighter or any fighter that shares the same zone as them. You can see on the player card that Bigfoot, the Jackalope, are melee characters along with the Outlaws, but Robin Hood is a ranged character. After you have declared fighters, choose an attack card from your hand and place it face down in front of you. Make sure that card corresponds with your character that you are attacking with. Attack cards are red and show the hit symbol. You can use those or you can use a versatile card, which are purple and show both the hit symbol and the shield symbol. After you have chosen a card, lay it down, face down in front of you. The defense now has the option of playing a defense card. Bigfoot is attacking this outlaw. The Robin Hood player has a chance to defend. He can play a defense card, which is the blue ones with the shield, or again, he can play the versatile card. They then choose their own card to lay down, face down. Now reveal them at the same time. Now we must resolve the combat. First, you must look at the effects on the bottoms of the card, if any. Effects are labeled indicating when they will occur. There are cards that say immediately, during combat, or after combat. Card effects are mandatory and must be carried out unless specifically stated. If two effects would ever appear to resolve at the same time, the defender's effects will always resolve first. After cards have been revealed, resolve any effects that occur immediately, then resolve any that occur during combat. After that, determine the result of the combat. The attacker deals damage to the defender equal to the value of their attack card minus any defense value that the defender played. For each day damage the defender takes reduce the fighter's health dial by one. After the result of the combat has been determined, resolve now any effects that occur after combat. We'll resolve this fight in real time. There is no immediate effect. There is no during combat effect. So we resolve this fight. Bigfoot deals one damage to the outlaw, but the outlaw only has one health. So it is removed off the board and defeated. There are two after combats. They have tied, so the defender will go and resolve his card first. His card says, after combat, draw one card. Return a defeated outlaw, if any, to a space in Robin Hood's zone. So even though this, this outlaw was just defeated, it can now return to any space in Robin Hood's zone. Bigfoot's now resolves, if you won the combat, which he did, Choose one of the fighters in the combat and move them up to two spaces. So now he can move. Players will continue taking their turns back and forth until one of the heroes is reduced to zero health. The game ends immediately and the last hero standing is victorious. Before we finish though, I want to point out that each hero has a special ability that is printed on their card. And don't forget about these 
because they can be pretty powerful. I'll just go over the Bigfoots quick. At the end of his turn, if there are no opposing fighters in Bigfoot zone, you may draw a card. So if this was Bigfoot's end of his turn, he is in the gray zone. No one else is in that zone, so he may draw a card. And that is a quick how to play Unmatched.